What's up tech heads and gamers, it's your boy Mel E to Z to the E, welcome to the channel where we respect the tech and we salute the gamers and we say come out, let's get right into it. So today, I'm just going to give you, be giving you guys an overview of the Wear 2.0 OS by Google for the uh, Google Wear OS smartwatches. So now this is the Fossil uh, Gen 4 Q Explorers watch. I already did a review on this watch, so if you were interested in see that, definitely check out um, the the review. I'm going to post the link in the description below. Okay, so to get started again, this is a beautiful watch, but we're not going to cover the watch. We're going to take a look at the software. Now, as you can see, this is uh, running again Wear OS 2.0. Uh, I know Android Wear hit 2.0, but this is a complete rebranding of names, and uh, this is now called Wear OS 2.0, not Android Wear 2.0. So, as you guys can see here, if you swipe, to the left um, you get your Google card kind of like with the pixel phones how you have like your Google now stuff that shows you the event the time the weather and all that stuff so that is to the left if you swipe to left you can see all this so again this update is new to me so it hasn't been fully customized I think Google now needs like 24 hours with your phone to um, recommend uh, different things to you so I haven't ha quite had 24 hours with this yet um, so again I think we'll see better notifications on here like weather or my workplace and stuff like that after I've had this uh, this OS running for quite some time so again swipe to left is how you get the Google um, now card that's pretty cool I like that because I have that on my notes Eight to where um, if I swipe to left instead of Bixby I have Google now so it's pretty cool to see that like resemble what's on my note 8 so again if you swipe left that's how you get it if you swipe to the right you have um, Google fit now personally I don't use this a lot uh, for those of you guys who are into tracking this might be cool for y'all um, but for some reason I'm not that big and like using my smartwatch to track my fitness and my health but yeah if you swipe to the right you get um, your steps your minute your workout and all this fun jazz so if you click it you get the screen it's pretty detailed uh, you can set like your workout goals shows you calorie burn shows you steps um, keep going down you can sh check your heart rate as well which if you into that is cool you can check the dates uh, let me bring that back um, click it um, you see how it has the na date 9.30 I thought you should be able to click on these oh well um, and then shows you the time again kind of detail and then you can just click this to check your heart rate workout go to settings see all that fun jazz and all of that um, so that's the second difference uh, the first is the Google cards uh, the swipe to the left second is Google fit swiping to the right the third thing is the notifications now um, personally I think I don't want to clear all oh, where are my notifications the tutorial Oh, I have zero notifications so oh, that's a bummer um, the notifications is so cool because instead of having like one notification take up the whole screen um, it breaks it down to where you can actually see like multiple notifications um, on the same screen which is I, that's kind of a bummer my notification just all got I think maybe it's because I hit Claire all but I was playing with it earlier today and it's pretty neat um, how it's done now um, you can see multiple notifications on the screen instead of just one taking up the whole screen and it just makes the screen look a lot more bigger which I think is pretty cool you swipe down you have access to all of your uh, tools here airplane mode Google Pay um, the watch um, and all that fun stuff so that's pretty much it um, personally I like this uh, it's still simple 
but at the same time um, functionality is, is I think improvement I like this as well they made the if you do uh, the app drawer if you click this button it looks bigger the text looks bigger if you guys can see and like the writing is white you see the white is like more bold and thicker if that's even the word thicker um, but yeah I think it pops out more and I think that's dope um, so nothing else apart from that really changed um, I am kind of bummed out because the Play Store is still um, lackluster compared to like what iOS has. I was thinking with this, you know, they would bring some pretty cool apps to this, but um, unfortunately, the same apps are still in the App Store. So you guys can see uh, they haven't really added anything new that will blow us away, which kind of stinks, which is kind of a bummer. Ooh, Hue Essentials. That's cool. That's new, actually. Um, offline navigation. Ooh, wait, these. I'm seeing some new stuff here. I was playing around with this earlier, and um, I wasn't seeing that much new apps. But as you guys can see here, with it, by where was? Huh? Okay, so I have to come. This health recipes. I don't know if that's new, but I haven't seen that. I've seen the browser. So I'm seeing some uh, pretty cool new apps on here, which is uh, not bad at all. I'll take new apps. Um, cool. See if they added any new games to this. Uh, games, streaming audio, music play, Shazam. Okay. Track your workout, and you can just wipe down to download jobs. So, fellas, that's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you if there's anything you guys want to see. So, um, I just found out a way to force this update update to your Android Wear devices. I actually didn't get this over the air. I had to force it and I am going to be making another video right after this to show you guys how to do that. So if you guys are interested, if you guys have been patiently waiting for Google to push this OS to your smartwatch and you're getting really impatient, I found a solution that can help you get this um, Wear OS 2.0 on your current smartwatch. Stay tuned to that video. If you like this, hit the like button, share it if you find it helpful. Subscribe if you want to see more content covering Wear OS devices and software and hardware and reviews. Alright fellas, till next time. Salute. Respect.